guys, how are you? I was just finishing up sorting some socks. Fun, exciting stuff over here. Um, I actually need to head out in a couple minutes to my six week postpartum appointment. And I just had a couple minutes before I have to get changed and leave. So I figured I would catch up with you guys because there are some updates. It's been a little bit since we've chatted. So as you know, Jet was super colicky and I just am so thankful that I can say that has ended crossing fingers, knocking on wood, just doing all the things just in case. I did cut dairy out of my diet entirely and literally on the two week mark on the 14th day, it was silent. Okay, not silent, but he wasn't crying 24 seven. He was just doing normal newborn cries and all of that. So uh, we're just taking a big deep breath and enjoying it. So this past week was the 4th of July and Will had a couple days off work. So we just enjoyed it as a family. Um, we did some fireworks here at home. We went to a barbecue at our friend's house. And then we also took a train ride up to a little downtown area. We actually did this last July and we didn't like mean to plan it for exactly a year later. It just happened that way. William was asking for a train ride and Will had the day off. So we just decided to do that. And we had such a good day. It was super hot. Honestly, I was so worried, but we just timed the little AC stops perfectly. We um, were on the train, obviously AC'd, and then we walked to a little coffee shop, got an iced coffee, cooled off in there a little bit, walked to a toy store, cooled off in there, walked to a bookstore, cooled off in there. Like just somehow it worked out perfect. Um, and I do have some clips from the weekend. I think most of the clips are from that day that we took a little family day. Um, so I'll show you guys those in a minute, but I'm just, I'm so happy that we got to do that family day because William's been handling, you know, having a baby brother and everything so well, but we kind of started to see the jealousy more and the big feelings more just in the past week or so, which is interesting because like during the colic stage, like it was hard and I could tell he was frustrated with it because he wasn't getting as much attention, you know, obviously he's getting less attention because he has a brother, but then once the colic started, it was even less. So, um... That was hard, but like after that kind of died down, we started getting into more of a routine. I saw him kind of um, acting out more. Maybe he just saw that we weren't as busy and we could maybe give him more time. I don't know. Anyway, doesn't really matter. We saw, <laughs> we saw that he needed some more attention essentially. So I'm really glad he got that this weekend um, on that family day and at the little fourth of july barbecue we went to because will and william were in the pool literally the whole day so he spent the whole day with dad got one-on-one -on -one attention i mean other people were around but he got tons of attention um i was there for when he got out of the pool but i had a newborn and honestly it was so hard i've i've mentioned before that it's hard to have a newborn in the summer because you can't be outside doing things that you normally do because it's just entirely too hot for them but the 4th of July just like amplified that for me um I think because even when it wasn't hot I couldn't do what everyone was doing anyway like fireworks um we had a little family barbecue here and it was nice but then when we you know when it was time for fireworks I stood in the living room with Jet and watched through the window like barely watched um and it just it just sucked. Like it just sucked. It didn't feel like 4th of July. And the worst part was that I missed out on William's 4th of July. Not that he realized or cared that he was with the grandparents and dad and he had a blast, but like I missed it. And that really sucks because I've been there for literally everything in his life. So yeah, that really weighed heavily on me. And like, they didn't think about getting any pictures, any videos or anything, which it's not a big deal, but yeah, it just hurt my mama heart a little bit. Um, and then at the barbecue, obviously I couldn't do the fireworks that were at the barbecue either, or really get in the pool because I was still like early postpartum and jets too little to go swimming, all of that. Um, but also like everyone in the party was outside and literally I was inside. At the beginning, there were a couple people I was talking to, um, and it was fine. Like, you know, 
got to catch up with them. They saw Jet, but then the party moved outside and like no one came in. And I don't know. I, I would, if any of you are watching this, like don't, don't feel bad. Um, maybe I shouldn't even say this online because I want people to feel bad because it's like not their responsibility to come and talk to me. But like, I don't know. I feel like I'm aware of those type of things. Like if someone is stuck inside, like I would go make a point to wander in on occasion. And maybe they thought other people were because I did speak to the people I knew like at the beginning. Like, when you're on your way to the bathroom, like just be like, hey, sucks you're in here. Or like, hey, what's up? You know, and I didn't get any of that. And so it just like, sucked and I think a lot of it was they're like oh baby's sleeping shh, you know type of thing or oh I don't want to bug her again type of thing but it just really sucked and looking back I should have drove separately and went home you know like of course I wanted to go to the party see our friends but I should have left and um yeah I don't know I, I guess I wasn't expecting us to be there that long and also 4th of July brought up a lot of emotions for me because this time last year, we were still going through our loss. Um, and 4th of July was when we would have announced the pregnancy. So I don't know, the holiday brought back a lot of emotions that I wasn't expecting. Um, yeah, so there's that. Didn't mean to make this a Debbie Downer video because actually we are like doing pretty good over here and starting to get into a little bit of a routine post colic, thankfully. And, uh, you know, we're tired, like not a ton of sleep, but a little bit better sleep. So yeah, there's that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and roll the clips from the 4th of July weekend, whatever I have. And then I will see you at my postpartum appointment. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we want to. Picking up a lot of friends, fill up the car to live best because we want to. time of our lives the night is in don't need anybody else, else. we came to party all night long and we don't need no chaperone we don't need nobody's attention yeah we just want to dance on our own we came to party all night long just finished up with my appointment let's put you guys there for now um everything went well just went in got a pelvic exam breast exam and we chatted a little bit um everything looks good and i can resume normal activities as i please so that's good i wasn't expecting like any different um honestly i feel physically way way better than i did with william um i don't know like William's tear was a th like a severe three and this one was a two. And so like that just feels so much better. But even just in general, physically, I feel better. Cause maybe it's because my body has done it before and it's not like such a shock to the system. Or maybe I'm just used to like sleep deprivation now. And so that part isn't playing as big of a role. I don't know. But anyway, all is good there. We did kind of discuss labor a little bit um, because Jet did get stuck. She said, if I ever want to have another one um, and she's my doctor, then she would most likely do a mandatory induction at 39 weeks. And she said some doctors would um, push a C-section. She says that she doesn't think that's necessary because I have had an eight pound baby before and then I had it this one was eight seven so she's like you just you know went to 41 weeks and you had a big baby and that's that you know there's nothing you can really do about it other than getting induced earlier so yeah i i don't know how i feel about that like i don't even know if we're having a third but um like 
I always wanted to go into labor naturally. So obviously like going longer would give me more chance of doing that. I obviously would never want a chance the scary part that happened with Jet getting stuck. So there's that. Um, we also talked about like keep taking your prenatals because I'm breastfeeding, which I already knew, but she said I should be taking calcium. And then I mentioned that I had a cup of dairy. She goes, oh, definitely start taking calcium then. Um, she said 500 milligrams should be enough because there is a portion of your prenatal that is um, calcium too. And then she was just talking about, what else? Oh, um, just general like, you know, how I'm feeling mentally. They always want to make sure there's no like um, postpartum depression or anxiety or anything. And I said, I don't think so. Like days are hard, nights are hard, we're tired, but like I don't, I don't see any signs at least in myself. And I've asked Will, like, do you see anything? And he said, no, it's just normal, normal newborn hood. Um, I also got my blood drawn to check my um, TH, TSA, not TSA, that's the airport. Wow, my brain is not functioning, guys. That is a lack of sleep. I literally got four hours of sleep last night. Just how, when William fell asleep and when Jet fell asleep, like they did not overlap very much last night, you know? So Jet was a uh, early waker and then William like woke up the minute Jet fell asleep. So anyway, um, it's not TSA, THA, whatever, the thyroid thing. Cause I don't know if you guys know if I've ever talked about it, but um, my thyroid levels were off before this pregnancy and I went on meds, got better. And yeah, they just want to check it postpartum cause it can fluctuate during and after pregnancy. So yeah there's that. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is going to be the end of the vlog because I just want to get home to my boys. <laughs> I miss them. I knew I would, but it's also really nice just being by myself and not having to like think about things. <sighs> Cause honestly, like the hardest part for me right now and having two children, it's not it's not the toddler. It's not the newborn. It's not even cleaning. Like it's not even that stuff. It's that I have to do it all at once. And I never feel like I'm succeeding at one thing. Like I'm always giving, you know, 30% here, 30% here, 30% there, which is just the reality when you have multiple kids. But I don't know, I just got to figure out how to feel like everyone's getting the attention they need. So even if it can't be all at once, I need to somehow like portion my day out. I don't know. I don't know. I got to figure that out. That is, it'll get better when Jet gets older and he's not such a Velcro baby. He does not let us put us, put him down. Um, also don't know if I've mentioned that honestly, because I haven't talked to you guys really in a couple weeks. Who knows? I might vlog tomorrow because we have some stuff going on. We will see what the next vlog is. I'll see you guys all then. Bye guys. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we want